We have a very special guest. This gentleman, he doesn't know it yet, but he's been volunteered by me. He's going to help us out with presenting the commissions today. His name is Dan Smith. Dan is one of the original 13 when the Army was reactivated by Governor Preston Smith in 1969. Dan was one of the first to volunteer to serve the state of Texas as a reenactor. And if you carefully read our commissions, it also says we are at the beck and call of the governor if he ever needs us. That's never happened. But it's nice to know we got people like Dan and these other fine gentlemen that are willing to do that. Let's give Dan a round of applause. An outstanding group of people. They have all heard a uh, recognition today that they're forward, so they know who you are. And uh, you'll get your commission. And when I'm done reading your, your short bio, uh, you get your commission from Dan. And then we have a colonel pin, which Tony has in the, in the hasp there. You have on your hat there. You, same thing, another colonel designation. So our, our first one today is Ryan Braddock. What up, Ryan? Proud of his wife used to be neighbors of mine, and then they upgraded their neighborhood and moved to the woodlands. <laughs> he moved in. We has your commission over here. Your Sam Jacinta medal. Oh, thank you. Your medal stars. And I'm going to steal your plate. One of the requirements, there are many requirements for becoming a colonel in the Army, but one of them is you have to go out and shoot a target five times consecutively. And your target is a paper plate. It's about eight and three quarter inches. It's at 50 yards. No adjustable sights, open sights only, with a lead ball, which is never perfectly round, doesn't weigh it quite right. And you got to patch it, lube it, shove it down on top of some black powder, and do this five times in a row without missing. A lot of you're right. That's a Sea Scout building. It's a great program. Uh, you're also a ship, uh, a ship captain for that program. Fight with us that day when we had six doing it at one time. Uh, congratulations, sir. Pleasure. next time you'll get it. So he showed up at Carter's Country. He was one of the six again that that one day did five in a row. Absolute great accomplishment. He and his wife live in Katy and their daughter, is your daughter here? She, she had an art piece that sold at the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo this year for how much? 32,000. 32,000. That's incredible. So he's doing something right. Congratulations, Chris. man a hand. We owe him a debt of gratitude. One of 13 that started this, and it's turned into 300 members, and 
Lord knows how many over the years have come and gone that have participated in this, easily thousands. So you planted a great seed and it continues and, and we want to honor you for that. We're going to have Bill. Have Bill. Bill's got something for you. Bill. the oldest Randall you joined in 69 Randall joined in 72 he's the longest serving member that we have in about 1970 right yeah but they're saying he's the oldest member we have on staff that, that can sign certificates and commissions so we had Randall sign it on your behalf so. can you turn it around recommendation of the general staff and by all virtue and authority vested therein the members of the Texas Army hereby recognize and with great gratitude we salute yeah. Colonel Dan Smith yeah. yes, one sir. of the original 13 founding members and now in his 50th year of service to the Texas Army presented at the San Jacinto Monument on the 182nd anniversary of the Battle of San Jacinto That's given this 21st long. day <laughs> 50 years, 50 years. Does anybody here that uh, Texas Army members or not, even family members, I don't, let me tell you how this happened. Danielle contacted me through Facebook, and we never met, and she said, I used to come out here with my dad and really enjoyed this as a kid. I want to bring him up and do this one more time. So that's how we were lucky enough to get Dan to join us. And it's a pleasure, because I've never been able to meet you before. Um, if anybody has memories, and she shared a lot of them with me about watching. Hey, I got one. Yes, sir. But before I went, uh, before I joined the Army, uh, I went out to my dad. I was so young, my dad would take me out to the shooting range and <coughs> let me shoot with uh, Curly and the guys before Texas Army was ever founded. And uh, I had an old bullet mold that kind of made the bullet sideways, you know, kind of off center. And I would take them and I'd drop them on the linoleum floor and put little dents on them all over, you know. And I'd go out and shoot, and I remember. Uh, Bill Pace, Dan, and Walter Vigors, and Walter Vigors would always come over and help the guys shoot, you know, and so he came over, and he looked at those balls, and they had those little dents all over them, and he said, hey, Smith, Smith, what would cause a bullet mold to do this? <laughs> <laughs> they had down the range, I don't know what I Good parenting. Here, son, play with a muzzle loader. That's right. <laughs> well, folks, um, if you are... Thank you. Y'all want y'all's powder coming in? All at one time? Kids can take pictures with you. Come on. After they're done.